Without the need for artificial nitrogen fertiliser, red clover lays can produce a whopping 15 tonne of dry matter per hectare and they're increasingly playing a role in sustainable farming systems. The main advantage of red clover is that at 20% crude protein it's superior to grasses in nutritional value and has a higher voluntary intake by the animals that eat it. This has the net effect of enhancing animal performance. It grows on most soil types and has the ability to fix atmospheric nitrogen via its root nodules into the soil and this offers a major saving on nitrogen fertiliser. It's tolerant to winter cold and due to its deep roots is also very drought resistant. It's suitable as a break crop to improve soil structure and fertility. Red clover can be broken down into two distinct types, early flowering and late. There's about a 10 or 14 day difference between the two. Both produce silage and both can be grazed afterwards. Generally speaking, the early type is used to produce two or more cuts of silage before grazing, whereas the later flowering one is cut normally just the once. It's a big cut and then it's grazed afterwards. The majority of red clover that's used is in fact the early types. Plant breeders have focused more on white clover than they have on red, but persistent higher yielding varieties like Milvus have been developed by plant breeders in Switzerland. Red clover is usually sown with grass. This has two advantages. Grass increases the sugar content of the forage and this enables better silage fermentation. Secondly, by growing with grass, weeds are suppressed particularly in the early spring when red clover is a little bit open. It is critical to the success of a red clover lay to have enough red clover in the sward. Somewhere between 30 and 50% is required to increase the protein levels and fix enough nitrogen. This is usually obtained by sowing 25% red clover seed with 75% grass. The type of grass used varies depending on the duration of the lay. Where a two year lay is required, it is usual to sow Italian ryegrass with red clover. Where a longer term lay is required, the use of hybrid or perennial ryegrass, often in combination, is satisfactory to give a three or four year lay. Sometimes white clover is also included, and this is particularly valuable where the lay is to be grazed later in the season.